Good day everyone, and a warm welcome to yet another MiCAD Minute. My name is Raymond, and within this short tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the ability to basically create 3D splines that's wrapped around a cylindrical or even a conical face. So the first thing we're going to need to do is just establish some surface bodies to use. So I'll start things off by creating just a simple cylindrical surface. Just get this body extruded. And basically what we're going to do from here is select either the front or right plane and create another sketch hosting either a spline or perhaps something like a three-point arc. I'll be using a spline just for demonstration purposes. Something like that. We can still go ahead and fully define the points if need be. I'll just quickly demonstrate what needs to be done. So what you're going to need to do is actually extrude a surface body. And I'll just make use of something like a midplane to demonstrate what needs to take place. So as you guys can see, the surface body is clearly piercing through the entire uh, cylinder. And this is exactly what we need to have this workflow um, really happen or take place. So what you're going to need to look out for is a feature called the intersecting curve. So please note that this feature is found within the surface tab. Um, right over there, you can also go and actually search for it through your search tool, making sure that you have got the command selected. So clicking on this feature basically allows me to select a set of surfaces. And using that selection, I then end up with a actual 3D sketch. And this is a really good workflow to acquire any, any specific spline, or in this case, a 3D spline that needs to go or wrap around the actual surface. Just to show you guys what is capable uh, using something like this sketch, I can now obviously go and either extrude or cut um, using that specific sketch. So I'll do something like a swept cut. And I'll say OK. And there we have it. As you guys can see, using this workflow can really speed up things. There are, however, quite a few other ways to acquire a result like this. Using something like the wrap feature might also get you the right, uh, same result. But please bear in mind, there are some limitations that exist within the other features. This is definitely a workflow to keep in your back pocket. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, enjoy your day further.